Mike Moore Media, the first place to hear Rockingham County news and information. Rockingham County Today is sponsored by Halo Salt and Yoga, wellness on a whole new level. No new information on a drowning at Blues Lake. Search crews responded Wednesday around 5.30 p.m. and found a boy's body after about two and a half hours. NC Wildlife Resources Commission says two families were boating and pulled to a beach area. Children went swimming and one of them went too far out. He did not have on a life vest. Some parts of the lake are as deep as 140 feet. Captain Roy Stewart with the Madison Rockingham Rescue Squad says wearing a life jacket is critical, whether on a boat or swimming. Eden Police Department arrest report, Savannah Gray Laws, 136 West Lake Road, Eden, and Cameron Michael Hairston, 302 Whitbeck Drive, Med Inn, driving while impaired. Teresa Ann Close, 787 Circle Drive, trespassing, littering, simple assault, and interfering with emergency communications. Other reports, identity fraud, 520 C Street, vehicle vandalism, 620 Patterson Street. A catalytic converter was stolen at 714 Patrick Street. Larceny of baseboard heaters and sheetrock at 890 Morgan Road. Police are investigating reports of assault at 1009 First Street, 1302 Robin Road, and 1006 Second Street. Victims of fraud at 619 Flynn Street, 122 North Van Buren Road, and 750 West Philcrest Road. Reedsville Police Department has posted a surveillance video on their Facebook page, a vehicle caught leaving 3203 Barn Street towing a stolen enclosed trailer belonging to Reedsville Veterinary Hospital. Anyone with information is asked to call police or Crime Stoppers. Arrest report, Ashley Lynn Farmer, 37, Grooms Road, and Brandy Michelle Dillard, 39, Simple Assault, Samuel Lee Loveless, 46 South Hamilton Street, Eden, second-degree trespassing and misdemeanor larceny. Angela Dale Southern, 49, Washington Mills Road, Med Inn, shoplifting at Walmart. Eden businessman Jerry Robertson has died at 65. Robertson was the longtime owner and operator of Turner Furniture Company. Arrangements are incomplete at Fair Funeral Home. Rockingham County weather from Shiloh Airport today, a mix of sun and clouds, a few scattered showers possible this afternoon, high 80, low 58. For the weekend, mostly sunny, high in the low 80s, low in the mid 50s. Monday, sunny, high 84. Triad record highs and lows on this day, 99, 1918, 47, 1966. Get current weather information anytime at MikeMoore.media, along with Rocking Cam, our live stream 24-hour weather camera, sponsored by Heat and Air Controllers, for year-round comfort, whatever the weather. Two important words. Shop local. Lane's is local. Lane's Family Pharmacy in Eden, providing countywide prescription delivery for over 20 years, call 336-627-4600. Thousands of Rockingham County residents depend on lanes for delivery and the best selection of durable home medical equipment, supplies, and products. We've been using that delivery service a lot lately. Lanes Family Pharmacy, NC14 Eden. Shop local at Lane's. Committed to our community. AutomotiveMap.com presents the Sports Flash on Mike Moore Media. 
The Reds beat the Nationals 8-1 to on Thursday. Reds rookie Graham Ashcraft delivered another gem, throwing seven innings of one-run ball. Joey Votto and Kyle Farmer each hit three-run homers. The Braves beat the Rockies 13-6 to in Denver. Atlanta with three runs in the second, two in the third, four in the fifth, three in the sixth, and one more in the seventh. Ian Anderson struck out nine over six innings. In ten innings, the Mariners got by the Orioles 7-6. to Abraham Toro hit a tie-breaking triple in the top of the tenth. The proposed $800 million practice facility for the Panthers in Rock Hill, South Carolina is officially off the table. Team owner David Tepper's real estate company filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection. The filing doesn't affect the Panthers or Major League Soccer's Charlotte FC. It's unclear at this point what will happen to the half-built practice facility. For lightning fast sports updates, download the Score app. It's free and one of the most popular sports apps in North America. That's the Sports Slash Chuck Sanders Mike Moore Media. Next, we'll check on the community calendar sponsored by Night Owl National Stoneworks in Eden. Granite, quartz, and marble for commercial and residential. The Splash Pad at Freedom Park in Eden reopens today at noon. Hours daily, 12 to 6 for all ages. $2 per person, free for ages under 4 and over 55. There'll be a rate increase July 1st. To rent the splash pad for parties, call the Eden Parks and Recreation Department. The Farmer's Market at Market Square in downtown Reedsville is open Saturday and Thursday, 7 to 1. Fruit, vegetables, baked goods, and local artisans. Annual Piedmont Pottery Festival tomorrow at First Presbyterian Church, Southwood Drive, Eden, 9 to 4 featuring dozens of potters from across North Carolina and Virginia, demonstrations and door prizes. Madison Med and Recreation Annual Fishing Derby at Ferris Memorial Park tomorrow, 8 till 11, ages 13 and under $3, ages 14 and up $7. Register online. Dan River Basin Association 20th Anniversary Celebration tomorrow at Eden City Hall, Starting at 9.30, Dan River Paddle and Hike on Smith River Greenway at 1.30. Carolina Cool will be playing at Hive, Uptown Eden, tomorrow at 6. Beer, wine, wine slushies, plenty of room for parking, seating, and dancing. Homecoming is Sunday at Northside Baptist Church, East Aiken Road, Eden, at 11. Jeff and Sherry Easter, special guests. Announcements are made free on the community calendar. Next up, today's Consumer Report, sponsored by Cone Health, Annie Penn Hospital. Americans say they're putting aside retirement for the moment, at least until the cost of living settles down. The BMO Real Financial Progress Index, a quarterly survey, found that nearly 60% of those surveyed think that inflation has adversely affected their personal finances. Mortgage rates rose sharply this week after pulling back over the last three weeks. The 30-year fixed hit 5.36% on Monday before rising to 5.47% the next day. Rising rates are making home purchases less affordable and will likely slow the housing market. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen says inflation is a bigger problem than she thought. In an interview with CNN, Yellen said she was wrong a year ago when she said she anticipated inflation would be a small risk, manageable, and not a problem. She admits she misjudged it. I'm Mark Huffman. Learn more at ConsumerAffairs.com. Today in history, 1539, Hernando de Soto claimed Florida for Spain. 1621, the Dutch West India Company received a charter for New Netherlands. That's now New York. 1784, Congress created the U.S. Army to replace the disbanded Continental Army. Today, we're celebrating National Donut Day, and tomorrow is National Hug Your Cat Day. Time now for the Birthday Club to finish up the week. Friday and Saturday birthdays for the third, our friend Charles Archer in Mayadan, Shelby Ryan, thanks to her outstanding work with the Rockingham County Tennis Association, and Don Hill. All for Friday, Don Hill, Shelby Ryan, 
Charles Archer. One name for tomorrow, the fourth, Wayne Nelson in Sandy Ridge. Wayne Nelson. All righty, let's recap the week going back to Sunday. We'll finish up May. Let's see. We have um, Timmy Hawks, Danny Presnell, Eunice Comer, Angela Fletcher, Joseph Leonard, Linda Martin, Kristen Cruz, Crystal Richardson, Katie Adams Summers, Timothy Hand, Alice Moore, Tristan Chapman, and Savannah Flanagan. That's our week of birthdays. Again, our best wishes to all of you. Have a name for June? Text it to me at 336-932-1881. Get in on our weekly giveaway. That's coming right up in a moment. After a quick shuffle, we have giveaways from these Eden businesses. Biscuitville, Vernon Family Dairy, That Little Pork Shop, Wendy's, Carolina Fuels, Domino's Pizza, Ingrid's Cupcakes and Confections, and Divine Nutrition. And this week's winner is... All righty, going back to Tuesday, finishing May the 31st, Linda Martin. Congratulations to Linda. We'll get those giveaways in the mail to her right away. Now some big-name birthdays. Anderson Cooper, 55, Jill Biden, 71, Denise Williams, 72. June is my birthday month, big one coming up on the 17th. In our music spotlight, I'm playing some of my personal favorites. Today, here's the theme from the movie Somewhere in Time. Somewhere in Time, orchestra conducted by John Barry. Now today's motivational moment, a way to happiness. 
Keep your heart free from hate, your mind from worry. Live simply, expect a little, give much. Thank you, friends, for listening. Have a wonderful weekend, and remember to count your blessings.